Howdy folks, welcome back to Railroader. Got some switching to do today. We're gonna do the Whittier Local. And that's number three there behind me. So let's get started. We're over here at Whittier. We've got a couple cars to drop off. Uh, we've got the box car that goes over to Stunzel, and then we've got the uh, Whittier House Track flat car there. So we're gonna hook on and run down the siding and then back over into there. That one also needs picked up off the siding, so. And then we need to head on over to Ella after that and grab a cut of cars. I think it's all set, which I think we just need to grab them to come back. So let's get started. We're going to have uh, Mr. Albert Inman driving today, Mr. AI. So Al, you need to come back. We'll call it two cars, but I'll probably stop you a little short. It's not quite two cars. Yeah, that's good. Maybe half a car. Yeah, that'll do. All right, let's get you all hooked up here. Get you off of there. And I forgot. Forgot to hold down shift, so we got to turn the ankle cocks on. There we go. Beauty. All right, we're gonna climb back on board here. We'll have him head on down the road until we get down to that uh, siding at the end. He got the side. Well, it's been a little while since I was able to record a video for a railroader. Work has been pretty busy. I did stream, I think it was Sunday, stream for about three and a half hours working on the railroad. And this is a continuation of that day. I think we're on day, is it 15? No, 18, I'm way behind. <laughs> day 18. Uh, so if you haven't checked out that live video and you wanna go check that out, it is there on the channel. And we had a lot of fun, had about, uh, I think we averaged about 80 viewers for three or three and a half hours. So good little crowd in there, had some fun, did some swishing and ran some trains. And today we're kind of finishing up that morning work with the Whittier Local. I think everything else is pretty much done until the afternoon. We'll be making some passenger runs and servicing the sawmill. But in this video, we're just going to do the uh, Whittier Local. Pull up my switch list here. I don't actually have all the cars I need on here for some reason. We've got one that says it's at Alarca. Oh, I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong crew, that's why. Here, let's leave that crew. Get over on the Whittier local. There we go. All right. Now we're all set. That's how we're looking. We have... I think the switch is aligned for us down there. So Al can keep on going. have him slow down a bit so I can hop off. We'll hop off at the switch. Let's take a peek up there. Yeah, it looks like it's lined out to get us on the main. And if we run as we hop off, we'll be in good shape. There we go. Apparently I can walk it nearly 10 miles an hour. Who knew? Yeah, just a little more, Al. There you go. Now you're clear. Alright, this is not safety approved, but we're going to ride on the flat car. There we go. He has stopped. All right, we'll head on back to the house, the uh, house track. I can spit that out, and I'll see you over there. Alrighty, he's up there, Al. Yeah, he sees that car. That's all right. Come on, come on back. About about ten cars. I was just guessing. Eh, probably, probably about five. Yeah, 
And we're looking for two. One car. One car to a couple. Maybe. Don't give up on me yet. Beautiful chap. Well done. What a pro. <laughs> All right, we need to take the uh, handbrake off of this guy. Where you at? There you are. We're going to need to pull it out and stick it on the main so we can get the flat car in here. Bring me on past the uh, switch points there, Al. No? Request denied. All right, what what did I mess up, Al? I forget to throw the ankle cocks again. No, you're all good. You're coupled up. Brakes are off. What's the problem? Did Al fall asleep again? All right, let me get Al sorted out. Hey, uh, spoiler alert, it wasn't Al that needed to sort it out, it was me. He's, he's facing the that way. So I need to tell him to go forward. That's right, his brake man's an idiot. Same old story. <laughs> Al was just, he was just being quiet. He was letting me figure it out. It's always better when you figure out yourself how dumb you are. We're all good now. I was thinking I had backed in here, but I didn't. All right, Al, that'll do. Now I want you to back up for real this time. So let's just do yard mode, reverse. Uh, come on back about two cars. Probably more than that, actually. Come on back five. I'll stop you. To get this box car passed. Yeah, one more. Sorry, Al. It's amateur hour today. It's not doing that great. A little rusty. Being the brake man. All right, there you go. Knock on the and brake. Double check, yeah, that one's going to the house track. All right, it's good, Al. Let's go ahead and bring her on back into the siding. be so handy if there was a crossover somewhere around in this area but it doesn't take too long to run down to the end of the passing siding and go back it might even be quicker to go the other direction probably should have done that
Alrighty, right in here, that'll do. So right on the back here. go looking at another train don't even want to back up all right come on back about five about five to a couple it's tankers over there they've been there forever yeah, they haven't even used up that first one yet. Probably be a week before we're service on Hollowfield. That'll do. Alright, we'll take that handbrake off. Up up here on the side. Let's just head on back. I'll we'll have to hop off and get that fusey. Could have done that the first time. I keep forgetting it's shorter to back up to this switch than just to go all the way around the curve. All right, he sees that fusey, so let's run up here. Grab that. Cross over. This will be one less move because we, we can leave the car parked out here while we drop the other one off. When I had a comment, I forgot to... Uh, make note of who it was. They were talking about a switch move they do over here at Stenzel, so we may try that as an experiment. It won't be the actual switch move, but it'll be sort of simulated. I'm kind of curious if it'll work. Alright, you can come on up through there, but actually I forgot to knock this car off, so let's do that real quick. Hop on here and lean over and do that. And then uh, I can't quite get to the top of the car to get the handbrake. Come here. There we go. <laughs> Stop. That works. Bonk. I got you on through, uh, oh shoot, I don't have, ow, stop, stop. <laughs> All right, let's run back over here. Some, somebody was telling me in a comment, they would park like the oil tankers here, and then this is enough of a hill to roll down and get delivered to there, like to save some switch moves. So I was curious how far that would actually roll. This is an empty box car, so. May not be uh, an exact replica here, but I was just curious. Now, how far would this roll? Does that actually work? I don't have any reason not to believe them, but I was doing Control R at Shift R, so we can get this moving. You do have to click on like the the back of the car. In theory, you're using the pry bar under the wheels, but in game, you have to click on the back of the car.
don't know if my frantic clicking is coming through or not. <laughs> there we go. So will that roll down to the incline with a little more help? You don't actually start seeing an incline until right about there. Might need a little more help. So yeah, right around in here. Where we actually get some grade. enough grade to keep it going sort of it's starting to get on the grade there we go okay so let's hit hit the handbrake and then if I'm if I just release the handbrake here it doesn't want to let me get on that ladder yeah it does start rolling all right, let's see how far we roll. We have to whistle for the grade crossing. Woo, woo. Now, if this was a loaded tank car, which is what you deliver over to Hollyfield, it would probably work a little better. It's a little more weight going downhill, a little more inertia. Yeah, we got going a pretty decent clip. Yeah, sure enough. I bet that would work just fine with the loaded tanker. Huh, who knew? Uh, I could have rolled that in there, but oh well. Uh, let's, we need to push this guy back. So let's get Al back on. That's already released, so that's good. All right, I wanted to kick that, so we'll do that manually. Make sure the pin's pulled. Should be good. I'm up on here. Went through lots of grade crossings. got paid for this the first time it was up here so won't be any little money sound here we go 30 tons of metal stock d 
delivered. I'm gonna have Al take back over. Hop in here. Oh, that stopped rolling. I guess there's a little bit of resistance there. All right, you hang out here for just a second, Al. I can get you past the switch points. We'll just leave them here. Get them on the way back. I wanted to roll down and hit that other car. Oh, there's a little bit of a grade there. That should be downgrade, right? It doesn't say which direction it is. I guess it's a grade this direction. That's why it slowed down. Poosh. I'm just spamming shift R to pull this back across. Yep, not quite enough. Damn it. Push. <laughs> I don't know if I got enough push. There we go. Super spam on the keyboard. There we go. All right, we're all cleared. There, have a handbrake. Okay, off we go. Forward to Ella, good sir. You were switched there. You were back to normal. I'll pick up the uh, past exciting switch and I'll see you over in Ella. We're pulling into Ella. As you can see, we've got uh, one car sitting over here that needs to come out. So we're going to sneak in there and grab that, tack it onto the end of the train, run around, and then start pushing back for Whittier. I forgot we had that car that was done on the stream when we were switching this. And then this cut of cars came over from Bryson for the Whittier local to pass on. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Pass on over to the interchange. That's what I was going for. <laughs> All right. I know you're having fun blowing for the grade crossing there, Al, but you need to come on back. And these guys are still getting processed. So we got what four? So we'll have five cars coming on back, and then we'll pick up the two in Whittier, and then this local will be done. So we can actually just click. So you can either remove the cars here, or you can just click clean up to remove them all. All right, back forward, sir. And we'll do yard 10 cars. I can get you told time. You go that way. There you go. Seize the car. It should switch to couple when it gets a little closer. In theory. Excellent job. All right, let's knock the handbrake off on you. Then we just need to seesaw back over to here.
They're gonna get you confused because I told you. Road mode. No. Nope. <laughs> so he whistled for forward and then came on backwards. Oh well, that works. AI, like most of the game, is st still a work in progress. It's early access. Even the old bell and whistle will work out. Alright, you should come just past there and then we're going to back you up again. See if I hit change direction when they're about halfway through. That's plenty of room. Could probably do one car length. And it's still have plenty of room. We could just pull the train back to Whittier, as is. As long as they all end up on the interchange, it doesn't really matter. Save me running around the whole thing down here. And forward with about a car length to go. Watch that. Can't see much from over here, Al. Alright, yard mode, 10 cars. That's usually about right when you're coming forward in road mode and uh, AI starts slowing down because it sees the train. That's when I used to do yard mode and then 10 cars. It tends to work out. Just make sure that the, on the status there that it sees the car. And then when it gets within a, a car length or two, it'll switch to couple mode. Then you know it's going to go ahead and couple up like it should. All right, we're about a car length. Eh, half a car length, I guess, is when it switches. There you go. Gives a little kiss, and then it's all hooked up. All right, throw you on. Knock your handbrake off. You're ready to head back to Whittier. Then let's make sure this is all cleaned up for any through trains. So we'll get rid of the fusey. Double check that is aligned for the main, and it is. And we can get on out of here. I'll see you back in Whittier. Here we are back over at Whittier. Al says, hey, there's stuff in the way. That's fine. We'll switch to yard mode. And if I take this off, will this start rolling? I think we're good. Let's take the hand rakes off of both of those and we'll gather them up. Oh, that one is rolling. Oops. Should probably hit the uh, brake. Kill off its velocity. That one's empty. All right, come on back. Another two cars. That ankle cock is closed. All right, East Whittier Interchange across the board there. Just doing a double check. All right, road mode, eh, 25 will do. We don't have that far to go. So I still think that's the end of the train. 
Okay, so it doesn't care where the engine is. Zero still takes it to the head of the train. There we go. All right, we just need to head back to the interchange and it will get paid. So let's go make sure we're lined up for that. Coming through there and, oh, no, nope, we need to switch. Switch that and it looks like our log cars are just about done. So the afternoon log train will be all set. That'll be part of our afternoon work. That's coming all through there. Uh, those guys are all loaded up, so that'll be part of our afternoon work. Basically kind of do uh, two halves to the day. The morning work and then the evening work. There is lots to do, for sure. So, I think this will all fit in here. So we can do that. Uh, let's just throw that switch against him so it'll stop. And we got our little uh, fuel car down here that we dropped off on the live stream. So this one goes back to Alarka, I believe. Oh, I might want to send that to Bryson, actually. While he's coming, let's change that up. So if we go to Operations. Uh, East Whittier. Oh, no, this is the East Whittier. Never mind. Oh, the one for Alarka is still over there, right? I forgot. It emptied. I didn't quite get it out in time to come back with this cut. To Bryson. It'll be coming back with the uh, the coal drag, I think. And I plan to reassign it to Bryson because we need coal at Bryson more than we need more down at El Arca right now. There we go. Heading on into the interchange. The cycle continues. How are we looking on finances? Oh, yeah, we're looking good. So you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we need some diesel power. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Thinking we might need some diesel power. Should we do that for as a little treat to those of you that are still watching towards the end of the video? Because <laughs> 90% of you have tuned out. I look at the metrics occasionally. Maybe maybe we'll just buy a little diesel here at the end. Although, now it probably makes more sense to do that the next day. Because I've still got the uh, coal drag to come back. we got lots of stuff to do. So we'll save that. But hey, if you were here at the end of this, at the end of this video, then you know what's coming. you got a little bit of insider knowledge. All right, that is good right there, sir. So I think with these guys here, there we go, we've got some money rolling in. And then we'll uh, we'll escape on this track. This track here should be enough, I think for the coal drag that's coming in. If not, we can push these on down after the fact. So let's just go to manual. And we need to pop this loose right here. Those coast on down. Well, that's got stuff in it. We should probably pick a handbrake on. <laughs> I forgot those are not empty. Yeah, that's good. All right. That'll do just right there. You're good. All right, you're off that switch, so we can put you back.
you're good, but I'm going to go ahead and stop him right here. And that'll do it for this video. That is the Whittier Local. It's pretty similar, you know, most days. Kind of the same thing. We service the sawmill, service interchange here for Whittier, uh, East Whittier, Whittier. And then we do the, the uh, handoff over to Ella with the Bryson Local. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's kill the headlights. And another job well done. Wait till this afternoon. We got some more work to do. Thanks as always for hanging out, folks. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.